every 24 hours, as humankind resets the clock, we have the opportunity to reinvent our world. Tomorrow, when dawn breaks, history is moved forward into a new era of electric flight. Please welcome Archer founder and CEO, Adam Goldstein. I love the energy. Thanks for bringing it. It just seems so clear to me what the future is, but I don't know, maybe I'm just too close to it. I can see these aircraft being adopted, widely used on an everyday basis. I see the technology every day. We've talked about the certification path and it's super clear. It feels like, like the way that the internet, it just became the backbone of society. Or just imagine coming here today, but you forgot your smartphone at home. Change takes you by surprise, but it's really obvious when you're looking backwards. And the goal is that after today, hopefully our vision becomes clear and it's just as obvious to you about what's to come. There's a paradigm shift happening in, in transportation. The future of movement, it's being reinvented. The largest auto companies, they don't even call themselves auto companies anymore. They call themselves mobility companies. Rideshare, it, it changed the way we use cars. And now the technology, it just keeps advancing and we're set to make air travel just an everyday experience and not just for long distances. We're about to show you our production aircraft, Midnight. And Midnight is the evolution of our demonstrator aircraft maker, which proved that our configuration and that our technology is commercially viable, and also that it's ready for the global stage. In a moment, we'll bring up the lights. But what you're about to see, it really wouldn't be possible without a world-class team that's been incredibly focused on two very simple goals. First, leading the commercialization of eVTOL technology. This is more than just an electric aircraft. We're building a completely new sustainable transportation ecosystem. And second, there's a real focus on design. Design is critical because we're inventing a totally new way to travel. And while today, most of us, we all travel because we have to. But tomorrow, the goal is that we'll all travel because we want to. Yes, this aircraft is quiet. You've heard that it's safe. You've heard that it's affordable. But even more than that, we designed this aircraft around the routes that need this service. And we did it with technology that can be certified. And it's been engineered to scale into a business that opens up a trillion dollar market. And while the early routes that we have announced will certainly save people time. This aircraft is really all about empowering us all so we can reimagine how we spend that time. This is the future. This is midnight. any aircraft that you've ever seen. And it's different because our entire approach to designing it was different. We had to literally reinvent how aircraft are designed. Midnight is flown by a pilot and it can carry up to four passengers. And it takes off and lands vertically, so it doesn't need a runway. But it also flies forward on a wing like an airplane, so it can fly fast and it flies far. 
flies 150 miles per hour, and it can carry 1,000 pounds of payload, and it can travel up to 100 miles. But this vehicle was optimized around rapid, back-to-back, 20-mile -back, trips in and around cities. And it can do this while being as safe as a commercial airliner, but also up to 100 times quieter than a helicopter. Since the advent of the airplane, aircraft have always been about utility, but we didn't want to just build a product that was about utility. We wanted to design and build our aircraft to combine high function with high emotion. It's just like the best modern day cars. With Midnight, you want to explore it, you want to touch it, you want to experience it. We're inspired by this kind of process, of creating an emotional product like you see in some of the best automotive brands today. Automotive design has had so many generations of design maturity, and so we sought out one of the world's best auto designers to help us create a completely new kind of aircraft. Together we solved some of the most interesting challenges that so far have been unanswered in aircraft design today. Like ingress and egress, could we design midnight to be as easy to get in and out of as a car? Or what about a view with big windows? One of the reasons airplanes have those little portholes as windows is because glass weighs so much. It's so much more than carbon fiber. So we had to figure out how to save weight everywhere to keep those windows big so you have a great view. Comfortable seating. Could we design a seat that literally gives you support but connects your body to the movements of the plane? We solved all those challenges and beyond them. Midnight represents this new kind of collaboration between aerospace, design, and engineering. Now here to talk about the design process for Midnight is our head of design and innovation, Julian Montuse. Thank you, Adam. It's been an incredible journey. And uh, I can feel that our mission at Arche is going to make a world impact. So yes, when I was working in the automotive industry, I saw eVTOL as the next big frontier. Why? Because electric propulsion is now able to lift a small passenger aircraft vertically. And as a designer, that changes everything. Today, commercial airplanes are built for extreme efficiency. And we knew at Arche we had to strive for mathematical excellence, but at the same time, we're creating a new way of living, and it has to inspire people. So we develop a unique design expression here to make air travel feel more personal. The golden age of flying in the 1950s was a great source of inspiration for us. And if you ask the pilot and the customer how they felt, like traveling in 3D for the first time was like a peak experience in life. And it led to a real fascination for the aircraft themselves. Well, we want to bring this magical feeling back. We want to connect our customer and our aircraft as one. And along with our partners, we want to lead the new era of vertical flight. To do so, our design philosophy is to advance human flight as a craft. And with only four passengers on board, we have a chance at the personal level to empower our customers' ability to feel like they're flying. Now, what about craftsmanship? Well, we're inducing the human touch throughout the entire process of creation. And this is the quote that lives in our head. The best way to predict the future is to create it. So we went for it. We started by transferring our mind onto paper with thousands of sketches, targeting the ideal state expression, then ultimately backcast throughout the feasibility studies. Here's where we landed. At this moment, that's an incredible energy building all across of Arche in order to make this vision a reality. Now, the next step was to bring life to the outer skin, sculpting it by hand and in clay. This is the process that we brought from automotive 
in order to physically generate an emotion that our customer will be engaging with. Now, we know that designing a performing EV tall aircraft is a really hard process. And this CAT file on the screen speaks to the effort that we put into the digital process. And for the landing gear alone, it took about 46 override to actually get to the point where design surfaces would meet the performance score. The reality here is that the outside skin cannot be designed alone, like it is in the automotive industry. The skin is the structure and needs to carry weight. And any surface deviation will be affecting the drag. Now let's talk about product identity. It's all around us with the things that we care about. So for Midnight, we made sure to integrate a unique vertical light onto the nose as Archie's first brand DNA signature so that everyone would identify our aircraft from a distance. Second, we made the aircraft look confident. This is a breakthrough architecture in a brand new space, so confidence is key to establish trust with our customer. And if you look at the proportion of the aircraft, it speaks to the incredible flying performance. It's the ratio between the lean body and the wide wingspan. It's the dihedral shape of the wing. And it's also the convergence of all the elements into one point, the center of gravity. Lastly, the aircraft, it had to be beautiful. Timeless beauty is achieved through fluid surfacing, not mathematical surfacing. And you can see those shots behind me, they are mesmerizing so that anyone could emotionally connect with our product. Now, what about the cabin experience? We designed a partial divider between the seats that will display your personal trip information, such that when you're approaching the aircraft, you can see your name assigned to your seat, but also your destination and your time to take off. The first moment you enter into the aircraft is key. And I think we've all been climbing into small plane or helicopter, and it's challenging. So our goal has been to make it hands-free. And we designed a unique landing gear that will enable the aircraft to sit lower to the ground, similar to the height of a mid-size SUV. So with midnight, you can easily get in with a small bag, a phone, and a cup of coffee in your hand. Now, another passenger benefit we looked at, it's the windows. We know that glass is heavier than composite. However, we prioritize panoramic windows so at 2,000 feet, you'll fully engage with the city below. Finally, with sustainable electric flight, it was important for us to integrate materials with their own unique sustainability stories. First, we choose the flax fiber to construct our seats. It's an invasive natural plant, highly absorbent of CO2, that needs very little irrigation. And second, we're using a fabric made from recycled content, like plastic bottles. Both materials are laid out into the cabin to be seen and to be touched at every flight. We think that this effort is joining our passengers' desire to make a world positive impact. So tonight, the maturity of a production aircraft is a true celebration between design and engineering working together. So please join me in a big round of applause for all the LG have worked so hard to make Midnight possible.
I swear, every time I... I swear, every time I hear Julian speak, it, I feel like I need to go and get a sketch pad and just start creating. He's just emotional, and he just brings such an incredible energy uh, to this process. Building airplanes are hard. So when do you get to fly in this airplane? We're targeting certification by the end of 2024, and then to begin operations shortly after in 2025. We just announced our first point-to-point -point eVTOL route between New York City and Newark Liberty International Airport. And the plan is to announce many more in the near future. So this is a really pivotal moment in aviation. There's this new golden age of electric flight, and it's the time where we create this desire to fly again. It gives us the ability to fulfill our mission at Archer, which is to unlock the skies for everyone, freeing us to reimagine how we live and spend our time. Thank you all for coming. I'd like to ask you to come join me on stage and come explore midnight. So come on down. Yeah.